Hello everybody and welcome to our next video tutorial on how to style uh, your open cart uh, version 3 website and um, today I'm gonna show you um, how to style a horizontal main menu of your uh, open cart site so uh, if you haven't seen my previous video please uh, see video that video because in that video I explain how to set up uh, create new theme and how to activate it in your uh, admin open cart admin uh, page so admin part so as you can see like we created uh, 22 web theme and it's activated so now um, first thing we're gonna do we're gonna open a um, style sheet file and it's gonna be in the catalog folder main main road uh, folder of your open cart and then we, we're gonna go to view folder and then theme folder and over here we're gonna gonna choose our 22 web theme folder since it's activated um, uh, and over here we're gonna go to style sheet folder and open style sheet CSS file so now I'm gonna show you um, let's go back to website uh, I'm going to show you how to change uh, uh, background colors. So first I'm going to show you how to change background colors in the main menu bar uh, that you have, um, visible menu bar uh, that you have on the home screen, home page. So uh, let's go back to our CSS file and let's go to line uh, number one, 194. As you can see we have a menu selector here and um, um, uh, we're gonna work if you want to keep gradient we're gonna work with this background image uh, image property here so let's change to uh, to different colors let's change to the green and dark green green and dark green save it and come back to the open cart and refresh the page you will see you will see that it's uh, uh, it changed color um, that, uh, to different colors. So, uh, in case if you just wanna uh, just regular color, um, so in that case you just need to uh, delete the background um, image and just use uh, background color uh, gradient uh, property. Sorry. So we just put it. Let's put um, gray. Save and refresh here we go now let's um, change uh, color background colors only uh, area menu with, with the links so it's uh, gonna be all this area so let's go back to our CSS file and let's go back all the way to the bottom where we're gonna put our uh, custom custom CSS uh, properties so let's make comments and we're gonna already copy it as uh, so statement so what it says it's uh, gonna sh uh, have two selectors and with background crimson uh, color so let's save it and let's go back refresh and we'll see our result here we go now you'll see results that we change uh, color uh, to different color just uh, where the links area so uh, once again if you wanna do a gradient um, so you have to do background image and line here gradient so um, crimson red so let's save again and come back and refresh the page and we'll see so now you as you can see now we have a little bit gradient uh, in this area, area uh, with the links of the menu area also um, here you can not only change background color but also uh, add some border for example and um, in order to do this you're gonna need a border property and just put three pixel width and solid and for example maroon color 
so semicolon and if you come back home page and refresh you're gonna see you're gonna see that we have now border so you also you can um, make radius use for them for example for five pixels on all sides all corners sorry um, so let's go back refresh and now you can see we have uh, small corners uh, five pixel radius corners over there so it's one way to um, do uh, this area this link area so now um, the only part that haven't uh, changed in main menu background colors um, uh, it's gonna be a drop down uh, menu secondary menu that we have over here so in order to do to change the color um, background color let's go back to CSS file and we're gonna create another uh, new custom uh, property uh, selector property with properties so already copied so let's paste it uh, so it's uh, as you can see it's a uh, says uh, uh, change uh, class with drop-down menu name uh, change background to red crimson uh, gradient so let's save it again and let's uh, refresh our home page and uh, let's test it. Here we go. Now we can see uh, we have a uh, different uh, background color. So next step we're going to do is we're going to change uh, colors, uh, background colors when you in the main menu uh, when you hover over one of the links. So uh, let's go to our CSS file and let's go to line number 208 and as you can see uh, right now we just uh, have uh, uh, zero uh, ten percent transparency for black color so uh, let's change this to uh, gold color and save it and you'll see let's try refresh and see results so let's hover here we go now you can see we have uh, this gold color what another modification you can do to improve uh, it's to to add some delay small delay um, so let's turn transition property and let's do 0 0.5 second delay um, let's go back refresh and see now we have a little bit delay and you can change uh, delay uh, as you wish uh, make it bigger or smaller next step step I'm gonna uh, we're gonna change uh, hover uh, background in the drop down menu so let's go back to CSS file and let's go back to uh, line number 73 guess yes it's 73 and as you can see uh, we have again a linear gradient here so let's change it to our colors gold gold and yellow we'll save it and go back let's go back refresh our home page and let's see if it works here we go now as you can see we have a gradient in here but uh, there is one problem we don't have a gradient at the bottom of this uh, where they say show all laptops or show all the desktops so we're gonna fix this too in order to do this we're gonna go back again to CSS file and to line number 244 um, as you can see we have our selector for this we'll see and um, let's change let's again work with the gradient uh, background image property let's change again to gold and uh, and yellow uh, colors and uh, refresh we'll see if it works uh, so here we go as you can see it changed hover hover background and um, color so and again if you don't want a background gradient uh, so you just delete this background image and uh, 
just uh, use background color uh, for example um, gray save it and refresh let's see so as you can see it's gray so you can control if you want to uh, do different colors so you control it uh, in this uh, in this property selector so you can that's it for today and uh, next video I'm gonna show you how to work and style a text uh, of your main menu for uh, your open card uh, 3 and uh, please uh, subscribe and like this video uh, and we'll see you next time bye